Gemini. Forgive me, I've been really ill. Literally, couldn't get out of my bed. A terrible chest infection. Couldn't even enjoy reading or watching TV. It was so annoying. Anyway, I am back with your October monthly. I'm starting on the 10th because I've already missed some of the good stuff like the full moon. But hopefully, you will still find this. Why is that going on? Yeah, enlightening. Now let's start on the 10th where big news, Jupiter, the planet of expansion, the planet of evolution, the planet of our good luck. So it indicates to us where we're likely to succeed in the next 12 months. It's our, it's our little bit of treasure that is going to help us along the way. Jupiter, of course, does demand that we put something in. He's not going to sit there and drizzle the good fortune our way. He's saying to, you, to us, expand, stretch yourself. And for you, it's all about your health and well-being. You may have decide to have a radically different approach to your health and well-being and change the way you eat, change the way you move, change the way you think, whatever it is that you're not doing that's not healthy for you. On top of that, it's all about work, but not just any old work. It's about the work that gives giving back. You'll, you'll get a tremendous amount of pleasure and reward through giving back over the next 12 months. And it's pretty exciting stuff. I do have to say, if we ignore Jupiter and we decide we're not going to do any, uh, make any changes, this, that and the other, he will have his way and expand anyway. So you might find if you don't kind of sort things out, you put on weight or, or you increase something in your life that you don't want to increase. That's why it's always good to work with our friend Jupiter. Now on the 11th, uh, Mars is squaring Saturn. You might find yourself in a bit of argy-bargy between family or a lover or a partner to do with, you know, your responsibilities, your romantic responsibilities versus your your things you got to do for people. So if there's something in your life that's out of balance on an emotional level, that may come to a head on the 11th, but you're being urged to look at it and find a way through rather than just butt heads get into familiar arguments. With Mercury sextile Saturn on the 13th, you should be able to draw a line under something. And also you're feeling good. You're feeling that you could commit to a love interest more, either commit to make space for a relationship. If you're in a relationship, you might commit to having more fun or creative times together. With Venus shifting signs on the 14th, you've got some good times ahead. Venus is going into your pleasure and passion zone. Yeah, baby, that's the best place for it. It allows you to be frisky, to be creative, to sort of see the beauty in the people around you and to feel the love and to genuinely just feeling really happy. So it's it's a very good sign for your emotional relationships. There's, there's something there for you. Um, on top of that, we do have a grand fire trine, which is encouraging you to get out and about. To You might sort of go out... Uh, into a crowd and meet people that really inspire you and then you might think well why haven't I done that before why aren't I sort of networking and, and showing people what I can do you, there's a lot of added confidence around you this month which is really good for you to take advantage of now Mercury the planet of communication is also entering your health and well-being and work zone it's very much a thread of the energy for you this month and you're kind of talking uh, and having healthy conversations and talking about shifting routines and uh, when the new moon comes on on the 19th the big shift for you is about creativity passion laughter and joy how much of that have you got in your life are you blocking yourself are you trying to protect yourself in some way so that you don't kind of let go and and, and just really enjoy things is there something you need to heal there well the new moon is cutting the ties with the past and allowing you to step into a new cycle of creativity love and passion if something's not working for you you may let it go if you you may have a realisation that there's something in your life that ain't never going to make you happy. That's the case. You are able to move forward. Or it could just mean you go to a whole deeper level when it comes to your creativity. But it's very, very exciting. Mars is also going in that position. So you're like, Rah! this is one of the best. I sound like a dinosaur then. It's like one of the best months of the year for love, soulmate connections and passion. So get on with that. But also finding the balance between your health and well-being. Sun is also going into your health and well-being zone. With the Sun conjunct Jupiter on the 26th, you, you manage to find a way to really come into yourself. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon.